that brings us to Pakistan. It is trying to disrupt peace in Kashmir yet again, this time not through ceasefire violations or, in, or infiltrations, but with a new tool, drones. On Sunday, two drones attacked an Indian Air Force base in Jammu. On Wednesday, three more drones were spotted along the border. And this afternoon, a drone was seen hovering above the Indian High Commission in Islamabad. What is Pakistan up to? Are these drone attacks and sightings a warning of things to come? Is Pakistan using them to open a new front? And if yes, how should India respond? Here's a report. The 27th of June, Sunday. The Indian Air Force Station in Jammu is rocked by two explosions within a gap of five minutes. Behind the blast were two explosive-laden unmanned aerial vehicles. Evidence suggests that these killer machines could belong to the lashkar e taiba On Wednesday, three more drones were spotted in Jammu's Kaluchak area. And the third provocation came on Friday afternoon. This time on the other side of the border. A drone was spotted hovering over the Indian High Commission complex in Islamabad. It was seen at a time when an event was being held at the mission. The Indian mission is located within a fortified diplomatic enclave in the Pakistani capital. A residential complex for staffers is located at a short distance from the mission. Not only is the appearance of a drone here a security scare, but a complete violation of diplomatic norms. And it begs the question, what is Pakistan up to? Is it trying to open a new front in Kashmir? We say this because this is a completely new form of escalation. Yes, since the ceasefire agreement reached in February this year, there have been no significant violations. But three back-to-back -back provocations, all involving drones, cannot be a mere coincidence. Pakistan may maintain deniability. The drones are low-flying. They escape detection by radars or interjection by air defence systems. But if India manages to trace them back to Pakistan, then all bets are off. The drones pose a lethal threat to Indian forward bases along the border. They could also intercept Indian communication at the Islamabad mission. They also reveal some gaps in India's capabilities. As of now, India has no clear tactics to prevent these potentially deadly drone attacks. India primarily relies on using arms to shoot down the drones. What it needs is to invest in security measures that are in sync with the proliferation of new technologies. Here are two of them. One, the installation of GPS jammers at all sensitive installations could make the drones fly off their path. And two, India must invest in developing a command center, like Israel's Iron Dome, to neutralize any future drone attacks. Today, the situation in the valley is largely peaceful. But going by these developments, it is absolutely clear that non-state actors in tandem with the Pakistani establishment are looking for new ways to create chaos. To counter these sinister plans, India must let go of the traditional methods and devise new strategies rooted in technology. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.